My name is Ricky Thompson. I'm a senior engineering student with industrial engineering focus. I am a second undergraduate degree student, and I do have a previous degree here at uh, UTC in biology. I found that engineering was a professional, intellectual endeavor that I would enjoy. Um, I found that it really fit what I enjoyed doing in my personal life. You know, how I, I look at things and I like to analyze things down to their minutia and, and figure out how they work and how you can make that process go a little more effectively. Initially, I was a pre-medical student with a biology focus and loved all of those courses. Biology, chemistry, it's great. I still love it today. Um, and I'm actually even applying some of that today as well, which if you can get into that if you have time. Um, but. Uh, as I got into the patient care aspect and volunteered, I didn't feel that it was exactly where I needed to be. So I did finish my degree and graduate, didn't really do a lot with it at the time. And over the course of the next five to six years, I developed an interest in engineering and going back to school and working on that career path. So that's where I am now. So there's a lot of correlations between the bio you know, biological aspects and the engineering aspects that fit my persona, so to say, but to fine tune in on that little thing that I like, hey, I want to do this every day is something that sometimes takes time. Others may fall on it earlier. Um, I, I definitely could have continued on that pathway and probably been okay, but maybe not ultimately happy. So it's just that, uh, that aha moment in life where you're like, I think this is what I want to do. And if I'd have had that sooner, it would have been a lot easier. <laughs> the professors are great. They, I mean, really, they, they stick with you and they want you to succeed. And I, their, their attention to you while you're in, in class and outside of class is over and above. You know, they really do are, you know, want to see that you can understand the material, grasp the material, and, and actually use it down the road. They want to see you become an engineer in a professional setting and be able to work in that capacity. And that support there was great, and that was from day one. It, was, it really blew me away. Obviously, the faculty, um, they have a great program. The classes are lined up well. They're not too large. That's also a great thing, a smaller class setting. Um, some of my classes I have only four or five students in, and others maybe only 30. But either way, they're all fairly small classes, which allows you to get the attention that you need and the time outside of class and inside of class that you might need to succeed in your courses. Projects, projects, projects. You will have, even starting from your first freshman 185 design course, they dip you right into the engineering design process because that's the core of engineering is developing something that works and usually with an interdisciplinary team. So teamwork's focused, um, going through the design process is focused right from day one. You start learning this and as you grow and through your courses and get into your upper level courses, you will find that you have projects due in almost every class. You have your normal, I'm gonna study, I'm gonna turn in my homework, I'm gonna have tests, and at the end of the semester, you will have a project and possibly a prototype that you have to build. So it's, it's great, it definitely learns you, uh, gives you a good hands-on experience with teamwork, which a lot of other majors, you may not have quite as much teamwork, and you every major will have some sort of project, but this one you may actually have to build something that someone has to use. Balancing work, Homework and getting to class. Um, the uh, homework loads in engineering definitely are not light. They, they, uh, they do take time. Some problems can take you hours. Um, you know, so it's, uh, it's definitely a shuffle if you have to work. You know, be prepared, very prepared for a lot of time. Uh, there's many days where I would do homework from five or six till midnight, five days a week. Know that that's what you wanna do. Be prepared to be technically pushed. Um, math, science, uh, physics, that's what it's all about. And if you're prepared for that and you enjoy that and you're able to be very structured in your study habits and your homework, then you will succeed. And they're there, all the faculty there is to help you. So, Math, depending on where you can come into the university setting, some can actually reach to the calculus level before they get there, which is great. If you can jump in a freshman year at calculus one, do it. Um, you're gonna be at a head start there. If you have to come in with your developmental maths and your trigonometries and pre-cal, you're gonna be a little bit far behind because you do have to go all the way through cal one, two, three. There's labs associated with calculus one and calculus two, which is a full-time course in itself. 
Uh, you'll have differential and linear algebra. It's very math centric in the first few years and also in your engineering courses. All of your statics and mechanics and dynamics courses are based around calculus driven math. So if you're not a math student, learn to be one or <laughs> maybe choose something else. <laughs>